Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. Plasma has released its first beta for version 5.15, which focuses on fixing paper cuts and usability issues, as well as improving integration with GTK applications and Firefox, and largely improving Discover, Plasma's app store. So I think it's time for me to dive back into the KDE Plasma world. Desktop and widgets. A lot of improvements have been made to the desktop itself, with the ability to download wallpaper plugins from the config dialog, such as video wallpapers, blur or cover flow. The file names displayed on the desktop now handle tiny icon sizes better, using more horizontal space and making the text more legible against light-colored or busy wallpapers. KRunner has been improved to handle duplicate bookmarks or entries, only showing one entry per item. On the widget side of things, Bluetooth devices will now show their battery level in the power widgets if you have the latest versions of UPower and BlueZ. Unfortunately, I don't have any Bluetooth devices to test this at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it works. This should come in handy to check on how long your mouse, keyboard or Bluetooth speaker can still last. Widget improvements include the device notifier, which can now prevent you from unmounting the root partition to avoid locking your system. The notes widgets can now be made transparent if that's what you like, and padding and appearance of notifications has been improved, as well as the virtual desktop pager, which can now wrap around when scrolling over it to quickly get back to your first desktop when you reach the end of the list. Speaking of virtual desktops, the config panel has been totally revamped. It's now much clearer and more consistent with other settings panels. Settings Settings have been touched up to be more visually consistent with each other. Text labels, icons and button placement have been standardized all over and it's especially noticeable with the Get New buttons, which are now placed more consistently through most settings panels. Other improved panels include the digital clock, the folder view settings, or the desktop effects setting page. In this particular panel, new desktop effects you downloaded from the Get New button will now appear on the list immediately. The login page settings also have received a bunch of improvements, with the preview of the breeze theme reflecting its current appearance, and the background color of the preview now displays the color scheme you have selected. Discover Discover is KDE Plasma's App Store, or Package Manager. It has largely been enhanced and tweaked to be more coherent and more usable. Discover can now show you a notification to upgrade the distribution to its latest version, complete with a restart button if one is needed after the upgrade. Updates can now be checked or unchecked all at a time to make selecting the ones you want, or not, easier. Settings also have been improved with the renaming of the Settings page to Sources, since it's all that it was talking about anyways, and it's now easier than ever to manage all your distro's repositories from that screen. Discover also handles packages better, with local packages now showing their dependencies and presenting a launch button to immediately start them after installation. Application and Plasma add-ons will now have their own category on the update page to make them easier to locate. In terms of features, search has been tweaked to only show applications in the search results, with add-on search being possible from the add-on category. Search will also work properly even with the snap backend installed. Finally, Discover will handle errors better if additional repositories have been badly configured. Cross-platform integration Plasma has been working on better integrating applications using other toolkits than Qt. For example, Firefox 64 can now use the native KDE Open and Safe dialogs by installing the XDG Desktop Portal and XDG Desktop Portal KDE packages and by setting GDK use portal equal 1 in Firefox's desktop file. Let's just say that this is a first step that will have to be implemented by distributions shipping KDE Plasma and Firefox to make this configuration a little bit easier on newcomers. These two packages I just talked about, they now support the settings portal, which means that Flatpak and Snap apps can now respect your Plasma configuration, including your icon, widgets and color schemes, as well as your fonts. This should help make these apps better integrated in your system. On the GDK side of things, display scaling works better with these apps running on Plasma if the scaling is an integer, so no fractional scaling support yet. And the Breeze GDK theme has also been improved to solve consistency issues between light and dark variants of the theme. Window management. Improvements don't stop here. Window management options also have been improved with keyboard support in the Alt Tab switcher, better focus implementation for Plasma configuration windows, which should let them get to the front when focused, 
and the application of the window closing effects to dialog boxes that have a parent window, such as the Open or Save dialogs. Wayland support has been improved all around, with more protocols being implemented for pop-ups and decorations, and it now supports virtual desktops, as well as touch, drag and drop. In the network settings, you can now mark your connection as metered to avoid using all your data quota. All in all, these changes won't shock regular Plasma users, but the attention to detail and consistency is extremely welcome. KD Plasma sometimes inherits a reputation for being too complex and not user-friendly, but these improvements should silence a bunch of these comments. I'm glad to see Plasma moving as fast as it is and streamlining all its settings panels. Plasma 5.15 should ship in about three weeks, and the beta is already available on KDE Neon Developer Stable Edition. I'm sure other repositories for other distributions will include these packages as well pretty soon. I'll leave a link to the full release notes in the description below. Have fun with Plasma, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye!